The United States has reportedly sent a shipment of crude extracted from Syrian oil wells to Iraq. Syrian media say the oil was obtained from oil fields in northern Hasaka province. Local sources say 20 tankers transferred the cargo into neighboring Iraq. It came after an American oil company struck a deal with a U.S.-backed coalition of Arab and Kurdish forces, or the SDF, in July for drilling oil in Syria's northeast. The Syrian government at the time condemned the deal, saying Washington sought to steal the nation's natural resources. Kurdish militants control most of Syria's oil fields in Hasaka. To discuss that further, I'm going to bring in Mohammed Ali, our correspondent in the Syrian capital, Damascus, and Tim Anderson. He's the director at the Center for Counter Hegemonic Studies from Sydney. Welcome, Mohammed. If I could start with you, and if you could tell us more about these reports that are emerging. Yes, uh, Syrian state uh, media, particularly Sana, has reported that uh, a convoy, a U.S. convoy loaded with the stolen Syrian oil. Uh, left uh, from Syria and uh, entered uh, Iraq. Uh, according to the reports, uh, 20 uh, uh, tankers and trucks uh, loaded with the uh, stolen Syrian uh, oil, which the United States uh, obtained from Syrian oil wells uh, north and northeast of Syria, particularly from al Hasak governorate, uh, crossed uh, uh, through the illegal crossing uh, border point of uh, Al-Walid uh, uh, in Syria, to, uh, in al Arabiya area, east of al Hasak towards the Iraqi uh, territories. Now, we know that the United States, U.S. troops inside Syria occupy many parts and also uh, occupy uh, oil wells and oil fields uh, in the country. And this is only possible because it has been facilitated by the so-called uh, commanders of these Syria's democratic forces who allow the United States to enter. And also, this comes following uh, 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 the uh, uh, United States uh, entering inside Syria in the past uh, couple of months with hundreds of uh, uh, vehicles loaded with military equipment and weapons that were stationed around those oil fields. Tim, the United States is illegally present in uh, Syria and now taking away that country's na uh, natural resources. Yes, that's right. And the proxy that one of several proxies that the U.S. has set up in Syria, Turkish-led, Kurdish group, which is reportedly controlling parts of eastern and northeastern Syria, um, has a very short lifespan. I mean, the U.S. is being forced out of Iraq. Um, they are, have withdrawn to some extent from Syria, uh, but it's a way of the U.S. maintaining its footprint in the region, basically, this short-term theft. It's not going to amount to anything for the, the Kurdish proxy, but nevertheless, it's a, a way of punishing the Syrians. When you say punishing the Syrians, is that a way for to prevent the Syrian government from using that uh, revenue to help its people, to help the people? Essentially, this is money that goes back to the Syrians. Um, but And it also comes at the time when the Washington has imposed really harsh sanctions on Syria, uh, the Syrian people. That's right. It's punishing the Syrian people who resisted the attempts to change the political system in Syria to try and fragment Syria. Um, the Syrians have resolutely opposed this for almost a decade now. And so the US knows that it's losing, but nevertheless it maintains this type of punishment to uh, worsen the, the economic pressures, the economic war on Syria. And of course that's also drawn in the economic pressures on Lebanon, on, on Iraq and on, and on Iran as well, the entire region. Right. And Tim, how important is it to highlight that the United States has is dealing with Kurdish militants? Uh, they're not dealing with civilian contractors. Um, the SDF, they have also Arab military as well. They've been havoc in, in Syria over the past uh, years. Well, it's a strange situation. It, it has a Turkish leadership because the biggest Kurdish uh, separatist group is in, is in Turkey. But nevertheless, um, after the withdrawal of the U.S. from parts of northern Syria, now, there is now this alliance between the Russian, Syrian and SDF forces, yet in the areas where the U.S. occupies, they are maintaining this sort of illusion that uh, this uh, proxy group is controlling those parts of Syria. So there's a very unusual sort of uh, uh, situation there where the Syrian government is gradually getting control of parts of the north bank. Right. And on that note, Mohammed, do we have any uh, reaction from the Syrian government towards this uh, development? 
Well, so far there is no official reaction regarding this particular development, but it is to be noted that the uh, Syrian government officials uh, in the past uh, uh, years of war have made it clear that uh, uh, the United States is literally occupying parts of Syria. Uh, its role has been uh, completely destructive. The U.S.-led coalition has bombed many areas in Syria in the past years, killed civilians, destroyed Syria's infrastructure, and now uh, sealing oil. Uh, uh, in the end, uh, meaning that the United States uh, does not respect uh, Syria's uh, sovereignty, the, the United Nations or international a lot has only respect for its own interests inside Syria. Okay, gentlemen, thank you very much indeed for that. Let me thank our guests, Mohammed Ali there, our correspondent in the Syrian capital, Damascus, Tim Anderson, the director of the, at the Center for Counter Hegemonic Studies, joining us from Sydney. And dear viewers, thank you for staying tuned to this edition of the News Review.